Have you ever went to a miserable boarding school where bullies are roaming free? Well, that's exactly what happened to Violet Claus and Sunny Bedelmdeer. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this slightly childish, but as unfortunate as any of the other books, book. A series of unfortunate events. The Austere Academy, Book the Fifth, by the Money Snicket himself. Now, if we get right on to it, it is, as always, about the Bedelder children, as um, the names are already spoken by me, and right, this time they, they aren't adopted, thank goodness. But boo, they have to go to an academy, a boarding school, basically. And there they meet a horrible little girl named Carmelita Spat who is very spoiled, very annoying, and she thinks that she's the best person in the world when she actually is the worst. And meanwhile, they are forced to stay in the Orphan's Shack, which is a horrible, horrible place that is full of crabs and fungi. And it really just sucks. And they have to live in that creepy old shack while all the other kids go ha, are in these luxurious boarding school rooms and dorms and dormitories and well that's just bad that's just very evil of the principal and meanwhile principal nero he's a very evil man as evil as perhaps as the original nero the roman emperor he has a violin that he'll never start pl never stop p playing but the sound of the violin, it sounds like as if a cat is dying, it's like so bad. And he thinks he's really good at it, and which means that before you sleep, you have to listen to six hours of him rehearsing, which is probably bleeding from your ears by then. Uh, uh, uh. And Nero, and um, Principal Nero only eats candy, which is another worst thing. And it's really just bad. But, but... The the Bedelladeers meet the Quagmire triplets. The third triplet is dead, whose name is quickly trip quickly, but they meet they meet the two Quagmires, two the two remaining Quagmires, Duncan Quagmire and Isadora Quagmire, and they are smart. Isadora is a poet, and Duncan, well, he's just a genius, and they are trying to help the Bedelladeers defeat Count Olaf. Who has come into them? Come to them with another ridiculous disguise. This time it involves a turban, mind you. And the Bedellers are trying to find a way to defeat Olaf and figure out his plan before it is too late. But the Quagmires have their own fortune, the Quagmire Sapphires. And if that and and if the Quagmires fall into Count Olaf's hands, then it will be much, much worse. But while these unfortunate events occur, the money snicket's humor is still around. I mean, look at this. The first ever sentence in the book, which is, which is the acknowledgments, it says, For Beatrice, you will always be in my heart, in my mind, and in your grave. <laughs> that is hilarious. I mean, I guess it's kind of disrespectful to Beatrice, but wow, that is hilarious that is so funny i mean it's like well beatrice you will always be in my mind my heart and in your grave come on guys if that's not funny what is and it was a great book to read it was very unfortunate which is why i put the down book down blog but i went through it and the words are fairly big and you know what's really cool about this book look at this look at that this is actually a design of the book to make it look old. It makes it look old and ripped. All of the paper is white. I mean, if I keep it long enough, so it'll turn yellow and the effect will actually be really cool. But, great book. And, like always, your book quester and the book quester. Great book, guys. Must read.